Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we've been shopping. Yeah, we've been to everyone's favourite store of wonders and you don't know what you're going to find in there, which yep. is part of the fun. Which is TK Maxx. Max. Now, not TJ Maxx. That is our American friend across yeah. the pond. And TJ Maxx. We were in the TK Maxx one day because you were looking for some home stuff, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, where we was came it? It was in like Chichester, wasn't Chichester, it? Chichester. Yeah. As you do in TK Maxx, on the way out, we found the food section mm -hmm. and um, there was some interesting stuff in there. Do you know what, though? I used to always ignore that section in TK Maxx, but now it's one of my favourite because what, the quite. The food section? Yeah, I actually really enjoy looking at the food section because they've got lots of lovely like bags of pasta, lots oh, of different yeah. shapes. And um, what they also have is like lots of seasoning in like cute boxes, yeah. oils, And salts. like if you're into hot sauce, I feel oh, like TK Maxx they is had a good loads point. Of they have Tajine. Did they? Tajine. they had loads of tagine. Yeah. Very excited. Um, surprisingly, though, we didn't pick up any like crisps. We the have chocolate. a couple savoury items, mm. but they're not really tickling my fancy, if I'm being no, no. honest. I think it was you who put it in the mm. basket. Well, it's only just that I thought they were interesting because they're like freeze dried vegetables. Yeah. Well, you bought a shiitake mushroom <laughs> crisps. I don't want to eat anything with the word. Shitaki in it. Yeah, the just... title. <laughs> Who's watched that skit? It's with what's Catherine her name? Tate. I always forget her name. Catherine Tate. So this is mush... mushroom garden. This is shiitake mushroom crisp sea, sea salt, salt umami, umami savory, savory and crispy. <sighs> these were two ninety nine. I wonder where these are from. They are from North Brunswick, NJ, New Jersey. Our He's family an believes thing. in the deep connection between people and nature through the foods we consume. We are passionate about healthy, tasty foods that not only benefit us nutritionally, but also brighten our taste buds upon the initial crunch. Our low temperature vacuum extraction mushroom chips have less oil and more nutrition than any traditional processed snack. Are these from the same people? Remember we had those really good cauliflower ones? Oh, it could be. It sounds similar, doesn't it? But I'm really enjoying the branding. The, branding the blue's is good. lovely, yeah, the, the writing. I'm just not sure about mm. the product. Mm. Mm. And I like mushrooms. And for Gretchen Wiener. It's a little bit. Fungi. Bit fungi. fun. Bit okay. fungi. Cheers. Don't look the most um, appetizing, do I? The initial mm. bite is better than I thought. It tasted like a rice cake. No, it's like sea salt. It's good, isn't it? None for Gretchen Wiener. It does kind of taste like um. Go Glen Coco, Glen Coco, Glen Coco. These are tasty. I'm enjoying them. I'm not sure I would eat a whole packet, but there's nothing wrong I'm with them. I'm just asking you to eat the whole packet. They really taste like. Is it pop chip? It kind of tastes like a rice cake. Mm. Rice cake mixed with like a popcorn. That's really good, actually. If you were to blindfold me and be that, I wouldn't have said that was a mushroom. Like I would much rather have a bag of chips, but you would mush. Rather. I would mush rather. But if we're saying maybe these are slightly better for you. I think they are meant Which to be. I don't know if they actually are. I'd be up for that. Scores on the doors? Scores on the doors, eight out of ten. I'll go seven. But in terms of like savory snacks, like they're quite high mm. up there compared to like some of these like other healthy yeah. things. And should we go for these then next? Why not? Oh, these are the same brand. Yeah. Mush Garden. So, or is it Mush Carden? Mush Carden. These are cherry tomato. Mm. Crispy, crunchy, natural lifestyle. They also say umami. And if the mushrooms are anything to go through, what's not to like about these? And these were two ninety nine. Also. Which for this little pack, quite a lot of money, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you don't get a lot in there. But I feel like that's quite time and energy intensive. It is. You know, having to dry them out. It's literally a cherry tomato yeah. freeze dried. Wow. So there have been people doing this with sweets online, freeze drying sweets. Freeze drying sweets? Yeah, that's what I really want to buy for us. Freeze dries dry. refresher bars and freeze dries really? Mars bars. Yeah. There's so many online. It's like, how do you know which one's the best one to go to? Mm. Do you like that? Kind of sweet and nice. Wow. Or is that just the way the skin like crests up? I don't like that. Mm. They taste so sweet. They're almost like a freeze-dried strawberry or raspberry. No, I don't think they're that sweet. I'm not getting the sweetness. The one I just had was literally the Well, that's the, the thing, thing with tomatoes. It's like sometimes they're really sweet and sometimes mm. they're not. Like, this one's more red. That was sweeter. Mm. I had quite like an orangey one. I'm more surprised with the mushrooms. If out of the two, I think I would have thought they were going to be my favourite. Mm. I actually think I prefer the mushrooms. These I could are just see, like a six. I could see me actually integrating those the in dried snacks. mushrooms in my life. Yeah. Whereas those are just like a little bit too odd for me. Because they're kind of sea salty and mm. actually like not as savoury as they taste. I wonder if like a bit of chocolate would go nice with that. Some like dark chocolate. 
popcorn and mushrooms I'm mixed together. I'm struggling to imagine it, sorry. Really? Yeah. Mm. What I would like is some um, truffle salt maybe on them or mm. a bit of truffle oil. Yeah. What are you giving the cherry tomatoes? Four out of ten. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't you like them. Oh, I thought you liked them. You were just no, saying they're, they're sweet. more edible than, oh. than I thought they would be. Mm. Do you like that? Kind of sweet and nice. Wow. Because you were saying about how sweet they were, I think I thought I, that as I that's good. I was saying sweet, but I didn't me, really right, mean it in a mean. good way. It's cute with the faces, though. Yeah. yeah. And it also freaks me out. You don't know if you're going to get a sweet one or a tart one. Well, also, the seeds are still in there. That didn't bother me. No. So, yeah, I'm just giving them like a five as well. Four, five. Now, can you guess who picked this bag as well? Me. Alex. Because it's pink. But I'm pretty sure there was like a chocolate version and you let me pick the strawberry. The colour of this bag is beautiful. It's very nice, yeah. Love at Truba. first bite. I'm really enjoying the branding. So this is Mythical Flavours, Anatolian Legend. What does that mean? Don't know. Anatolian. Don't know. Bite-sized wafers with strawberry. Where are they from? Let's have a look. NJ again as well. Oh. Cooking. Oh, and these yeah. are from Product of Turkey, Hoboken, New Jersey. It's imported by Hoboken, New Jersey. So but it's been imported by them, but then how's it ended up in England? I don't know. How weird. weird. I would just love to know what the timeline of a food ending up in TK yeah. Maxx is. How because does it end up They there? seem like they've been around the world. It's a product of Turkey. It says imported to the USA through Hoboken and New Jersey. So these have travelled like so far, and but then but did they ever actually get there? House. Is it just like they were packaged that way and never actually made it? Probably because they like cancelled the order or yeah. But anyway, these are three forty nine, which I thought was quite expensive. But when you take those into consideration at two ninety nine, big bag. Look how much you get in there. It's four hundred grams but of wafers. Wafers go dry quite quick, so this is like a party situation. You wouldn't want to like open no, these and because how many can you really eat in a week? They look cute. They're really small. They smell they great. They smell like fresh. They smell like strawberry milkshake. Yeah. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like. Better than yours. It's so funny. There was this like TikTok once, and it was this woman like making a milkshake. <laughs> it was like on her countertop, and she looks out her window, and there's just like loads of boys <laughs> arriving, like zombies. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Oh it's like a real visualization of what that song mm -hmm. is. What do you think? Mm, tasty. Mm. I would have preferred the chocolate ones, but nice. yeah, but sometimes chocolate's a bit funny. And I'm now glad we've got like a kilo of them, metric ton. Holes should like them. I would have thought so. Will Matt like them? Maybe, because he likes wafer. He what likes do you strawberry. think to the strawberry? I like the strawberry. Mm. It doesn't taste too um. I don't always like strawberry artificial. tasting things because half the time I don't think they actually taste like strawberry. No. Like you but said, this is nice like a strawberries flavor. and cream. It really is strawberries and cream, mm. strawberry milkshake. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. What are you giving that out of 10? Yeah, like a seven out of 10. Yeah. For me, seven and a half for like a strawberry wafer. Mm. That's quite good. And I like that they're just small little bite size. Mm. It would be cute in a little party to have a, wouldn't it? We've got two high chew yeah. items. Do you want to like bring them both together? No, I want the soda pop first. Okay. So this is high chew soda pop. Yeah. Soda pop mix, Ramune. Oh. And cola. Oh, I didn't see the bottle there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Ramune. Ramune. I, oh no, they are soft, but it felt like they were hard. Yeah. And it says immensely fruity. Scribbled out, juicy, juicy, intensely chewy candy. Morinaga. So what high chew is this? Is this America or is Japan? Is it, Japan? I was going to say, it must be with the Morinaga Yeah, but high chew, it. yeah. So we've got Ramune and cola, double layer of flavor, release flavor as you chew. Wow. From the minute you unwrap your high chew to the very last bite, the aromas of true to life flavors are yours to enjoy. With our unique double layer, mouth watering flavor is released as you chew for a long lasting, immensely juicy, intensely chewy experience and who and said you can't have fun as a gluten-free person are they gluten-free they're gluten-free there you go am i right in saying that japan created high chew to give you that texture and feeling like you're having chewing gum but without the mess of chewing gum landing on the streets flavor ratio may vary but i'm pretty sure someone said that's where the whole ah. high chew came about yeah because they're very strict about not getting the chewing gum on the floor aren't they let's cola it first cola. surely one day there can be like a recycling little thing no, it'll be like a little mushroom packet look there's just something about high chew that i love it's the texture it's that outside edge being different to the middle where you said there's something about high chew that i love that it was like you couldn't put your finger on it and then you put your finger all over it contains soybeans is that the original ramune mm. oh, we had that 
It's a, it's a bit like a cleaning product, isn't mm. it? Not my favourite high chews. No. They're also quite chewy and mm. they're not got that normal chew. I'm a little disappointed. Really? Because I love high chews. I'm really hoping these next <coughs> bag better. are going to be better. These are high chew exotic fruit mix. I feel like high chew is usually more like the fruity yeah. flavours, whereas like those drinks didn't seem. But we've got dragon fruit, acai, and passion fruit. Yeah. So that's exciting because Good flavors. they're not flavours that you really see apart from the passion fruit. Number one selling soft sweet brand in Japan. Oh wow. So these ones really are like the Japan. High price. Ones. Yeah, look, made in Taiwan under license of Morinaga in Japan. So distributed in the UK by IB Group Limited. Oh, Loughborough. I've seen IB Group really? on stuff before. I think that's Irritable Bowel Group. So these are apparently RRP 299. Our price is 249. Woo! Ooh, so Get the whole you. 50p. Wow. Get you. Thanks, TK Max. See, look, these are like the more high oh, tune. Yeah. Now this I'm is gonna have pash dragon fruit. I think I might have acai. You have an acai bowl. Oh, that's better. Chat Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Acai or acai, however you say it, or acai. Acai. Very much tastes like grape. Mm. Really nice. What's Passion that? fruit is nice. Really? Mm. These are the flavours that I'm used to. More like fruity. Whoa. That tastes like a chewing gum. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? I've had a passion fruit thing like that before, but I can't think what. Yeah. It's got such it's nice a natural. It's delicate. It's got mm -hmm. a very natural passion fruit flavour. You really can chew them for so long. Mm. Wasn't it got tapioca in? That's why it's chewing. It almost is like um, chewing gum. I might have the acai, mm -hmm. little acai bowl myself. How was the dragon fruit? Because really, dragon fruit doesn't have much flavour. Oh, I like life. the dragon fruit. Nice. These are really setting off my crap jaw, though. Quite a delicate flavour, the acai. Yeah. Very mm. light grape mm. in a way. I'm going passion fruit, acai, and then dragon fruit. Mm. I would love to try an acai bowl, but I'm an adult. I need a half decent amount of calories in the day. Yeah, well, what you should do is have it as a snack. Mm. Um, I had it when I was in Aruba and like on holiday, it's a really cool nice down. way of having like, instead of ice cream, you can mm. have like an acai bowl or there is a place in London that does acai bowls There's loads of places. We walk past it. But that's the thing, like when you see it on a brunch menu, it's not big enough. No. Because I had it in Flax and Kale in Barcelona and it was mm. so good. But like you say, it just like isn't enough. So mm. it's like you need more. These were so good. Really good. Put your three in, in uh, oh, you're enjoying that. Mm. I just feel like that was so sweet and I needed to balance it mm -hmm. out. Passion fruit. Me too. Acai, dragon fruit. Me too. The difference between the high chew soda pop. Yeah, I don't really like <laughs> Sorry, those. I've got the hiccups again. It's Did we rate those? No, what are you giving the soda pop? I'm going to give the soda pop like a four. Yeah, I'm giving them a five. The texture Poor was texture, not there. Not flavor, good flavor. Like, no. That's the kind of flavor I'd expect from like a cheap sweet. I not felt from like they IG. were wrong because when I first bought them, I thought they were hard, like um, sucky yeah. sweets. Whereas these are like your classic high yeah. chew. What are you giving these out of 10? Eight out of 10. I'm giving them nine. I really love high chew. They're delicious. Mm. If you do find them from TK Maxx here in England, definitely yeah. pick some up. They're so nice. It's not really like anything we have here. No. We have like chewy sweets, but it's a completely different chew. And I can't explain it. It really does feel like you're you're having chewing gum. Mm. But then you actually it have It seems color. like it's never going to end. Yeah. And sometimes I like chew it really quick, but yeah. actually I'm going to take a couple and like take have them time. in the car and just like take my time. Just imagine it's chewing gum. Exactly. Saying, oh, I've yeah. got all day got with all this day. <laughs> And the flavour's still Well, that's here. what's nice. is like by the time you swallow it, the flavour is actually still, still there. Still there, yeah. Whereas with chewing gum, it would it's probably gone. have been dead by then. Maybe that's why someone... They need to take it. some lessons. Exactly. Right. Last but not least, what have we got here? This looks amazing. It does. Cock co on. Cocon. Cocon, strawberry gummy with fruit juice. I just love this bag, like that pink and yellow stripe, the baby pink, and then this like kind of old fashioned strawberry mm. and like the- I've got the, high yeah. hopes. Didn't from America or Canada, we had some like really- Small little- Fresh, yeah. like sweets, but they were very um, like natural juices. I think this I might be like this. They were. These are 149, which I think is very good for that. Oh, these are from- Oh, are these from like Japan or I somewhere? I think so. I was going to say, a kind of... Oh, Malaysia. Malaysia. How exciting. I had and, a student who went to live in and Malaysia. And just brilliant here. Sole appointed UK and Ireland distributor Manning Impex. 
Camberley. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. How funny. Oh. I have really Ooh. high hopes for these. It's yeah. a heart. This smells funny. Is it? It no. almost smells like a vitamin. Not as soft as I'm no. expecting. But I like it. Mm. Yeah, it's Japan where we've had some sweets. That tastes so much like fruits. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit worrying. Really real. Mm. I might have to have another one of those. But why do they need individual wrappers? Maybe because they don't expect you to just like eat them all in one Probably go. Not. It's like so you can put put them in your bag or your pocket and just have like one every now and then. These are so nice. Mm. And also, are these the type of things that like businesses put in like a bowl? Possibly. Like hairdressers, mm. salons, a five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Treat of the week. Treat you almost got there, Al. So the do you week. want me to go first? No, it's okay. I'll cover it. Take no, one for the go. team. Go on, take go. one for the team. No, I'm only Matt and you go. Okay, I think my treat of the week is drum roll. Is haichu and specifically the passion fruit and acai. Acai. Haichu grape is so good. The, the acai's got nothing on it if it's trying to be grape. Mm. I love the American high chew grape, but the passion fruit is so lovely. So it? delicious. Like from that little thing, it's so delicious. Do you want to know my treat of the week? Yes, please. No, it's not. What? How oh, come? These. Hey! For some reason, I thought you were going for the shiitake mushrooms. They're good, but like, not, not as good as good. these. Yeah. yeah, you do really like yeah. those. Do you know what? What? TK Maxx always surprises me. Sometimes like I'm like, oh, are we actually gonna get anything good from there? And then other times I'm like, wow, this is amazing. We need to find it again. It feels like snack roulette. Even though we pick the out. things out, they're- Doesn't mean they're gonna be no. very good. And they're like so wild usually. And so sometimes it's like, it could it's, be really good, could be really bad. And sometimes like the high chew, like we know we like high chew, but those high chews weren't good. And that's why it's so fun because you don't know yeah. what you're gonna get. And sometimes it can be so amazing. Maybe we get a spinny so wheel awful. that looks like the barrel of a gun, right? And we spin it <laughs> and we <laughs> say it's like your pick. Yeah. If it's a bad snack, you're dead. You don't do the rest of the video. <laughs> and then I keep going until I get a bad one. And then it's like, video. Could you imagine over. you just being here on your <laughs> own, like, eating? I wonder, would you My be buttons. able to, like, talk through? Imagine if I just went live one You'd day. probably bring Cookie Monster back and talk to Cookie Yeah, but imagine if I just went live one day and it wasn't like I was trying to be, like, entertaining. You were just, like, it was just like, I was just eat, well, eating my lunch. Eating, yeah. It's Some like, people do. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, we like strawberry wa wafers, mm. but it doesn't mean they're going to be good. So that's no. what is hard about Tika Max. But anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you'd like to try some of our British goodies, don't forget we do have a website with loads of boxes and loads of individual items that you can check out. That helps us to keep making these videos. Videos. Um, so we'll leave a link down below and you can check that out. Alex is obviously going to go get something. What's he picking up this time? Oh! And if you'd like to try some delicious British sweets, why not check out the website and try these Swizzle Squishies. They're absolutely delicious. These drumstick squishies are my favorite flavor. So these were limited edition a couple years ago and only as to sold them yeah. for breast cancer. And then now they've come back out, but like hardly anyone knows about them because yeah. it's usually like the classic flavor and the other flavors. And they really are squishy and they're strawberry and cream flavor. Yeah, the, the flavor on these is amazing and the texture is so good. So definitely pick those up. We'll leave a link down below and don't worry, you won't get that packet. Or you will, if, <laughs> if you want them. If you've got the bite marks, you struck <laughs> gold and you win them. <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.